If you want to slim down by summer, there are three small changes you can make that will help you do just that. Susan Campbell Cross is the author of The Fabulist, and she's back to tell us what those changes are. Just three simple steps? Yes, easy. You do not need to count calories. You do not need to hire a personal trainer. You don't need to join a fancy gym. You just need to make changes in these three areas, and you will slim down. Okay, good. Well, let's start with portions, first of all, because we are supersizing everything in this country. Absolutely. My first tip is that when you dine out, you may have noticed that they bring you a tremendous amount of food, way more than you actually need to eat. Yes. And I know, probably like me, you think, oh, I'll just get a doggy bat, I, I, I won't eat it all. But then we get distracted by conversation and we keep on eating it. The best thing you can do is tell your server ahead of time, I'd like to box half of this before you even bring it to the table. Just, you don't even oh, have to tell them tough. why. That's but, tough, but it's, well, it's not a bad idea. It's it, really you know, good. honestly, you probably will have plenty enough to eat and sure. you can get a second meal out of it too. That's true. Sometimes I get four or five meals out of one meal. Exactly. Now, when you're at home, mm -hmm. you can also control your portions simply by putting those dinner plates away and using your salad plates instead. Plate sizes have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger through the years, and surprise, so have Americans. Right. We've gotten bigger as well. So just making that switch to a salad plate, you cannot overload the salad plate, so you will be eating less. This high. Well, <laughs> no, you're right. No, that my mom does that, and it's great. It really it does works. help. And snacks? the other good tip about food is always have healthy snacks on hand. I keep dried almonds. In my car, in my pocketbook, I've got dried apricots. It's really good to always have something handy that you can munch on. That way you won't be tempted to go to a drive through or grab a pack of chips somewhere. Right. And yes. It's, and it's very satisfying and you won't get hungry, obviously, if you've got something healthy you can just grab. Exactly. A lot of people don't like to drink water, even oh. though we've been told so many times that water is the best thing we can do for ourselves and it'll help us lose weight. So what do you say? I agree. I think that as, as we get into warmer weather, we also are going to need to hydrate, make sure that you're hydrated. People drink too many calories. You don't want to drink your calories. Save that for the food. We want to cut out alcohol. What? I know, but there's sugar in that. You're right. There's sugar in it. You're right. And fruit juices as well. So a lot of people don't drink water because they say, oh, it doesn't taste like anything. They want flavor. flavor. Well, there are some amazing gadgets that you can use to infuse flavor into your water. This I is a pitcher this. that, yes, you can just cut up lemon, cucumber. If you like to put herbs, you could put mint, rosemary. Look. Exactly, and then you just would fill this with water and keep it that way in your refrigerator. It gives you that little extra something something. It tastes great, refreshing. Um, this is a smaller version that you can take on the go. Now, if you don't wanna buy a pitcher, you don't need to do that. You can make your own right. by using ice cube trays. You can just puree fruit like strawberries mm -hmm. and just pour that right into ice cube trays and then you can just drop an ice cube or two into your glass and there you have it, infused Perfect. water. Now I love what you say about exercise. If not a lot of people have an hour or an hour and a half to get to a gym, so you say do it it accumulates over the day. It you does. can just get a little bit in here and there. Exactly. Exercise is cumulative. If you don't have a block of time, like an hour, hour and a half, to go to a gym or do some kind of exercise class, don't worry about it. Just make sure that you incorporate exercise into your everyday activities. For example, you may look a little silly, but you can lunge using your grocery shopping cart or your stroller. Yes. Yes, you can lunge your way down the aisles or down the sidewalk. And you do some squats before you sit down. I do. I like to call that my squat to sit. I like <laughs> yes, that. Yes, I make myself do 10 squats before I sit down. I'm already at a chair, and that's exactly what you need to do. See? Just lower your tush to seat level and make sure your knees don't go over your toes. I was doing and this there at, the, have at the copier machine the other day. So There I you go. See, work. you're doing exactly right. You're building that can. exercise in. Susan, thank you. You're very welcome. Let's squat. We'll yes, be right we'll back. We'll squat our way out.